Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here again at the Black Magic booth at NAB 2015. I am here with Kendall again, and we've yeah. got a brand new camera again. Uh, <laughs> again, you guys are going small in size or yeah. smaller in size. Sure. What do we have here with this little camera? So this is the Black Magic Micro Cinema Camera. So we really made a small, compact camera here so that you can get it into remote areas and do like wireless transmitting to do your record, uh, stop playing, and uh, start on that. And the way we did that is we built an expansion port into it. So you can actually go, and it's a very hackable camera. We actually have a, a whole uh, page on our site dedicated so you can rewrite this if you want to. So you can go in and do all the radio <laughs> controls and all those things when you really? get up into the drones or the quadcopters and have that wireless remote. Uh, recording option on it. It, it looks just like a, a standard serial port that you see on PCs or all sorts of other electronic exactly. equipment, yeah. uh, which is just, I guess, a, a generic communications connector. Yep. So you're you're allowing users to sort of develop their own controls for whatever system they're they're mounting this to, and you can feed that to the camera and, and control it. Exactly, and you'd have control over your, uh, again your stop-start recording, also your iris, focus, zoom, things like that. And it's a uh, Micro Four Thirds lens mount. Okay. But it has 13 stops of dynamic range in this camera. Also. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so you're gonna get a lot of that depth and uh, color information that you'd want. Pick up the shadows and highlights, things like that. It records to an SD card here in ProRes. Okay. Uh, or it records in the Cinema DNG RAW format too. Wow, just to uh, to an SD card. Yep. Very cool. And uh, the Micro Four Thirds mount, extremely versatile. A lot of lenses and stuff for that. Yep. You're, and the best part is you're sticking with that small. Uh, you know, a lot of them tend to be smaller, lightweight, uh, and it's perfect for mounting wherever you can really think to. Yep. Um, now, what was the thinking beyond mounting the, uh, the controls sort of forward facing on this camera? Well, uh, we had a lot of people that were using our original pocket cinema camera, mm -hmm. and they wanted to use them for exact same pur purposes we were talking about, whether they were hidden away in a hole somewhere, or they had them in a car dash, or in the quadcopters, things like that. You can do that, but really this camera is meant for that because you have the record button right here. A lot of people couldn't even get to the record button on yeah. that camera or see that they were actually recording. We put a tally light right in the front here so you know you're recording. Okay, so everything, you pop it in a corner, you have it somewhere tucked away, which is what it's perfect for. Now yeah. you can you can access it, you, you can, can control it, it, and you'll have confirmation. You know that you're recording exactly. and you don't have to worry about it. Yep. yep. Very, very cool. Now one thing that you might see on here is we do have menu options and you can get in there and mess around with the menus, uh, no monitoring on the camera. So the way to do that is we came out with the Black Magic Video Assist. It's oh, $4.95. Cool. So the camera itself is a thousand dollars, just like the original Pocket. That's yeah, that's the camera that we came out with. This one uh, is a full. This this here right is four ninety five. Okay. And it's a full HD nineteen twenty by ten eighty uh, video monitor, and it's all touchscreen too. Has, wow, it, it's touchscreen and it's nineteen twenty by ten eighty. It is, yeah. Yep, uh, SDI in and out, HDMI in and out. Does it do cross conversion between the two or? No, what it'll do is right now it'll record DNX HD and you can record ProRes also. So okay, it so will record. record. Yeah, it has an SD card slot on here so you can record okay. on here. So you can send check. from this to that and, and you can record That's on right. that. Yeah. Or on this. Yes, or wow. you can take the SD card out just to do playback and you can put it in here. So you can use it to quickly review yeah, uh, your, your shot. Yep, exactly. And it has mounting holes on the top and the bottom, so in a sense you could mount it on here if you needed to. Yeah, um, and it's still a very small size unit, even with that mounted on top. You're you're just about the size of, I'd say, like a, a, a larger DSLR at that point. Exactly. That on there. So that's still not bad. Uh, no. And you could use this with the DSLR if you wanted to. Yeah, you could use that with a lot of things just as a, as a standalone recorder. Yeah, um, and it has and power in, but I was going to show you, yeah, the back Yeah, here, the batteries. The, the battery, so it is remote uh, access to it. And it's hot swappable, so you can pull one out because it's running off of one battery. Actually. So it's pulling off of one, but you yeah. have the other one. When one drains, it'll switch over, exactly. and you can pull the battery and put a, a new one in, and you don't have to cut. Yeah. Very very cool. Yeah. So this is going to be big for uh, probably drone usage, and you know pretty much anything that anybody can come up with. I'm thinking of you know everywhere. Where have I put my GoPro in the past? Well, Basically, I'm thinking I I can now put something like this on it. Put it on a helmet. Put it on the outside of a car yes. put it, and, and get that amazing ProRes footage uh, or the, the DNX and 
with that dynamic range, you're just going to be able to work with that footage so much easier. Exactly. And you're going to be able to get shots that are really going to have people scratching their heads for how you get, how you got it. Sure, yeah. That's very cool. Gimbal access and just as you said in remote locations, dangerous situations you don't want to be in. Yeah, just that's crash a very good can, point. Yeah, at a, at a thousand dollar price point, you know, for larger productions and stuff, that's that's not much. Crash cam, you don't have to worry about it. That's yeah. great. And, uh, and the fact that it does have a mount for interchangeable lenses, because sometimes when you get really small systems like this, you almost get a point and shoot kind of style where you have a fixed lens. Yeah. So that's awesome that you can still uh, change with the lenses. Um, when is this gonna be available? This will be available know? in July. We'll in July? Shipping, yeah. Okay, just in time for uh, some summertime sports and, uh, and playing right. around with it. Yeah. Very cool, very cool. Good. All right, well thanks a lot. I appreciate sure. it. I'm really looking forward to this guy coming out. I'm sure you guys probably are too. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. Check out black magic design and I'll see you guys later with some more stuff from NAB 2015.